is thinking to close immigration. Portugal is thinking to close file lock. Portugal is thinking to promote D-type visa, job seeker visa, business visa, digital nomad visa, investment visa. This is the thinking of Portugal new government. And they did one meeting and they did press release and in future also they are going to discuss and they want to inform, uh, inf uh, they want to change immigration policy. And according to them, due, due to the file locking, some unskilled people, which are not useful for Portugal, are coming. They are thinking Portugal doors are open for all, and uh, they are also facing pressure for, from European Union. European Union also uh, gave instruction to Portugal that you are the only country uh, you should uh, get example from Sweden, Germany. They are only inviting highly skilled professional or financially strong people. You people did mistake of close golden visa. You must open golden visa. You must uh, uh, invite highly skilled people like a D type visa, job seeker visa. You must give should not stop job seeker visa. You should stop open immigration. I think uh, uh, one parliamentarian and also in press release also new government gave little of it in the indication that they don't want to keep open immigration and they don't want to close immigration. They want to search intermediate way and intermediate way is that they are thinking that the people who come to Portugal, they must be useful. The discussion the, in the Portugal going on, the people who are coming through file lock are expression of interest. Most of them are not useful. These are the discussion in the government, new government members are discussing. There's a little bit of uh, uh, resistance in these discussions uh, from some parliamentarians but overall, uh, uh, most of the people in Portugal lawyers are telling that email stopping procedure and uh, the slowest uh, uh, processing of IMA are all related with these things because they want to reform the immigration policy. Portugal government also clearly told we want to reform immigration policy. So this is the development and still these are discussions no need to worry because uh, discussion rumors definitely uh, will not matter until any law any authentic statement but physically you know ima is not sending emails file locking and expression of interest these are two same points these are two same thing file lock or expression of interest they are being little opposed by some members some lawyers some uh, consultants and they are telling that these people who are coming by foil lock uh, they are just coming on tourist visa they are just coming by illegal way uh, therefore file lock or uh, expression of interest uh, must be closed so these are the news this is just a, a discussions going on in parliamentarians meeting and they also uh, will do once again these meeting because you, you know uh, just a new government uh, uh, took charge of office and they will uh, definitely uh, will meet once again again and again and they will give right instruction to IMA and they may present different laws new laws as well new rules as well and these rules uh, definitely will reform immigration policy so these are actual uh, discussions currently going on in portugal and now you will uh, get uh, because uh, the feature behind these conversation is that they are they are telling that the job ratios are decrease people are jobless and uh, people came from overseas by file locking most of them are not getting jobs they are in troubles they are sleeping on the roads and hospitals are full of migrants hospitals are not able to treat the patients even in emergency 
when they are telling that one person came in emergency one day and he is discharged and because there is no space in hospital and they are also telling these people are without money they have no any financial resources because we want to invite financial uh, financially people uh, the people who are financially strong and uh, they can work uh, they can support portugal they can invest in portugal they can start their own business in portugal they want digital nomads who are earning in dollars they want uh, uh, people to start business who have money in their pockets and according to them the people who are looking for or expression of interest most of them are without money most of them without skills in short they want those people in future uh, number one uh, number one highly skilled people number two uh, financially strong people my analysis will be in the last i am just giving the discussions of course there are little bad news but you when you will listen in full clip then you will be quite satisfied a uh, second point they are telling that file lock will file lock or expression of interest will be no longer in the future they are also telling that we are uh, also listening european union in which european union clearly told that germany and other schengen countries did very well they only inviting highly skilled people and financially strong people you people opened immigration which is threat for all europe because there is a schengen zone agreement that a person coming in portugal getting portugal passport he will work in schengen zone as well so therefore very strict policy of the uh, european union they are also uh, analyzing that how much people are locking file on daily basis and they also released a data that 400000 people backlog is currently available which is unable by ima to process so these all are the discussions and now i will analyze this news or with what is going on currently discussions going on in the uh, in the rooms of the in the houses of the parliament uh, and parliamentarian discussing in their meeting and also some lawyers and uh, the government officials of ima uh, privately discussing these discussions now my analysis that uh, this this discussions first of all these all are discussions these are not the laws second one these are not the discussions uh, who are going on now currently they were going on since many years therefore no need to worry number 3 no doubt about this that portugal is mostly concerned about uh, uh, about the migrants and uh, because numbers of the migrants are coming more no doubt about that it's also true 400000 backlog is there but this question that file lock will close i will not accept because you know they their discussion will go when they will go in parliament in discussion a lot of parliamentarians still in the meeting many members opposed and because you know uh, in the file locking procedure uh, you can't close immigration completely file locking uh, many genuine people and gets immigration and they come by legal way and they do jobs and they do business uh, it's also wrong that they uh, most of them are uh, non professional Uh, many people are skilled and not all people some people definitely are without skill and they are spoiling the portugal immigration most people are skilled and also uh, many people do business and if you go to the lipson uh, you will have example and you will tell me so a lot of people are doing their own business and they are very successful and most of them are asians mean they are indians they are pakistanis and they are working very good and they are increasing the economy of the portugal so this discussion is also wrong that they are not uh, increase they are not increasing the economy of portugal they are increasing they are enhancing the economy of portugal second point is that a uh, job seeker visa the people must come through job seeker visa that's the new government policy because uh, one example i will tell you saudi arabian pakistani uh, just got the t type visa his profile was very good but he applied through saudi embassy in in saudi portugal embassy uh, in response to that i will tell you digital nomad and d type visa people are not getting appointment and their visas are being delayed uh, if if the parliament members are discussing that they should uh, uh, escalate the d type visa the job seeker visa the people genuine people will come and the embassy will check that they have sort of skills which are required in portugal 
our golden visa should open so that people invest under the Euro European Union pressure. Uh, but I will say uh, I have one point clearly if you people are listening, uh, uh, Portugal and IMA office, any office member is listening. Indian embassy is not properly working Portugal embassy. There are a lot of complaints and they are telling that uh, visas are being delayed. So if you people are uh, definitely want to promote this visa, you should uh, process application within limited time. You can refuse, no doubt about this, the Canada type country, a developed country refuse a lot of visas. But those people when they refuse visa, they got refusal reason and they fight once again and they became successful. But never mean uh, you will just say that we will not, we, we, we will, uh, uh, we will, we are analyzing like IMA, we are analyzing, analyzing for one year processing, it look really injustice. Even in IMA, I will tell, if you people don't want to give TRC card, just tell the individual this mistake you have. So uh, my, in my opinion, uh, there, uh, th this is not the true that uh, during file locking, you people are getting non-skilled people. This is the problem in immigration policy. When the people lock the file and when you are calling for, uh, for TRC card, you just need to call them, you need, just need to check them. It's very simple. Two years that person stayed in your, in your, uh, in your country. And within two years, well, definitely he will bring his documents that I did this job, I did that job. You can search company, you can see how much uh, uh, his contribution in your economy. So definitely when you are satisfying, then you are giving, giving him TRC card. You just check him. When you are not satisfied, you can tell him, hey, Mr. Fill in the blank, we are not satisfied. You did not uh, contribute to our economy. And you just stay one year more and we will check you once again. And you will just analyzing card for one year and you will not give him card and you will not tell him reason. So that at least, at least I told you Australia, Canada refuses visa, but he gave refusal reason. The people fight and people win. That's the point I'm discussing. Therefore, my dear uh, brothers of IMA and my dear uh, parliamentarians, uh, sorry uh, if any, anyone is listening, I, I, I will say to you, assessment is little bit wrong. Uh, economy of Portugal is due to these migrants. If you go to the Lipson cities, a lot of restaurants, a lot of companies, Asian people are working. And I will also tell you one thing, the passport, uh, the Portuguese passport holders, they don't stay in Portugal. They always move to other Schengen countries because your salary uh, and your per month average income is almost 820 to 830 euro, which is very less. And, and, and if you are talking that golden visa, investment visa uh, should come, so that's your mistake. Golden visa, you already stopped, which is, I think, one of the worst decision uh, by any immigration department. I think any third class country did not close investment visa. Investment visa is a key of success for all countries. I don't think so. Your lawyers are telling, lawyers, Portuguese lawyers are telling, that, that that investment visa was very good for Portugal. Investment visa technically was inviting uh, uh, overseas to invest and to purchase a property. And th that money was really enhancing the economy of Portugal. Another point which is very, very important that if you're telling that skilled people uh, are, are very necessary uh, for Portugal, uh, you people are not making any criteria that in D-type visa or D-type visa or skilled visa, when mm -hmm. any, any person who is eligible for skilled visa, D-type visa, he should be given preference. If you see Canada, Australia, they have made occupation list. If they need doctors, so definitely doctors it will be preferred, which I noted from Indian embassy at least, because the Indian embassy, some, uh, some people, uh, some of my views were writing and were doing me email that they are, there is no discrimination between uh, between skilled person and non-skilled person. The skilled person will also, uh, uh, his case is being delayed for one year. Non-skilled people without documents, he is also being delayed. So at least the person who is qualified and who is very successful, who could be very successful in Portugal, he must be given preference and definitely those people will come to Portugal and will gain the economy. Second one, third one, uh, if you are discussing that there is unemployment, too much unemployment 
I agree with you. This is due to only one mistake which you are doing that illegal people are going to uh, uh, going to uh, going to give permission. Uh, they are actually being given the permission by by you, Portugal government. And when the uh, illegal people will come and when they will lock the file, the legal people and illegal people will be equal. So I think it's quite unfair. One person is coming with visa, one person is coming without visa. They both are in line and uh, sometimes legal people remain at the backside and illegal people get CRC card. So this is quite unfair. That's your thinking is very positive. But th just thinking will not work. I am listening my ears three, four months that IMA has planned between legal and illegal. IMA will prefer legal people. Where is the preference? Their cards are being delayed of both legal and illegal people. So there must be filtration system, but genuine people must be given preference. So in the brief discussion, I told what is going on regarding Portugal immigration. I will keep informing you more. Keep watching World Immigration News by Irfan. Thank you very much.